Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Learning Hub. Today I am here with lots of fun, entertaining and learning video for you all. Children, we have already learned number 9 in the previous class and today again we are going to learn a new number. What is that number? Can you guess? Okay, let me give a clue. How many fingers and toes do we have? Tell me. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then ten. We have ten fingers. And ten toes. So children, today we are going to learn which number? Number ten. This is number ten. One zero ten. Do you know children? Number one and zero, they are best friend. They make number ten. And number ten is the First two digits number and number 10 is also smallest two digits number. Now it's time to do the formation. For that I have taken some rice powder and now we need to join these two fingers. So let's begin. First draw a standing line means number 1. Then draw a big circle means zero. One more time. Make a standing line. Then a circle means zero. So one, zero, ten. So friends, if you want me to teach you more about this kind of video, then make sure you comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So children, today we are learning about number 10. And 10 is the first two digits number. So can you write number 10 in a one box? Is it possible? No. For example, can two people sit in a one chair? Is it possible? No. Two chairs are needed for two people. Similarly, 10 is a two digits number. So we can't write number 10 in a single box. For that, we need two boxes. Like this. One, two. So children, let's write number 10. Everyone open your Map copy and follow how to write number 10. Here I have written T and O. Do you know what is the meaning of T and O? T stands for tens and O stands for ones. I repeat, T stands for tens and O stands for ones. So one zero ten. We are telling number one. First, so we have to write number one first, then we have to write zero. We all know one zero, they are best friend and they make number ten. So one is written below ten's house and zero is written below one's house. And we have to write number from the middle of the box. We should not touch the top line of the box. So let's start. Start from the middle of the box to bottom line of the box. Then zero. Again we have to touch the bottom line like this. So one, zero, ten. One is written below ten house and zero is written below one house. So one, zero, ten. One more time. 
Start from middle of the box to bottom blue line and one zero ten. So this is number ten. And now we are going to draw ten balls. So everyone look at the board. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten so this is number 10 and how many balls are there there are 10 balls let's count one more time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we are going to enjoy a lovely number song. Are you ready, everyone? So here we go. Rapids, rapids, one, two, three. Will you come and play with me? Camels, camels, four, five, six. Why you have a hump like this? Monkeys, monkeys, seven, eight, nine. Will you teach me how to climb? When I count it up to ten, the elephant says, Let's start again. Let's start again. Rabbits, rabbits, one, two, three. Will you come and play with me? Camels, camels, four, five, six. Why you have a hump like this? Monkeys, monkeys, seven, eight, nine. Will you teach me how to climb? When I count it up to ten, the elephant says, Let's start again. So children, in this rhyme, we counted number 1 to 10. And we have also come to know about different types of funny creatures like rabbit, camel, monkey and elephant. We are now reaching the end of the class. So kids, let's end the class with a fun activity. I know you always prefer to learn something through different types of activities because that offer opportunity to expand your interest and skills. So let's begin today's activity. Rolling beads. What is the name of the activity? Rolling Beads. For that, we need some simple resources like a paper roll like this. This is a aluminium foil paper roll. It is easily available at your home or you can make it very easily with the help of mount board or cutis paper. Next, we need some beads and a bowl or box. Here I have taken a chocolate box instead of a bowl. Now next step is how to do the activity. We have to take the bead one by one then pass it through the roll and put it in the bowl or box. So let's begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Our activity is done. So parents, through this activity, our children's fine motor skills, eye-hand coordination and numerical concept will be enhanced. So that's all for today. I'll be back very soon with an interesting lesson. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.